So we have a story that we're going to be talking about that may remind you of um, Debbie Alaska, a.k.a. Baked Alaska, where he was in an Uber car and uh, claimed that he was sleeping in the back and got kicked out by this African-American woman who was the driver. Um, but really, there was there was somebody who was um, after him at some point who had that driver and showed proof that he had that driver and explained that she said that um, he was saying like uncomfortable things like, oh, this is white America and et cetera, et cetera. Now, um, this will probably remind you that because that was an Uber driver, of course, too. And then uh, Uber support responded with Debbie because that's his mom and his mom pays for his stuff. And um, again, like I said, there's nothing wrong with having your mom pay your shit. It doesn't matter. But when you claim to be superior, you literally think you're a white supremacist. You think you're better than other people and your mom's paying for your shit. That's embarrassing. But anyway, so we have another uh, story here. An Uber driver... Um, has he booted a white privilege boasting um, guy who called him a bitch ass and word with the hard R. Now, here's what Ross story says. They say um, a black Uber driver boots a group of young white people out of his car after they begin boasting about white privilege. The ride ends with one man r calling the driver a bitch ass and word with the hard R. In the video flagged by the route, the driver can be seen patiently waiting while the group climbs in and scrambles for seats. One man bizarrely states white privilege as a woman carrying a beer bottle is relegated to the backseat and knocks open a video screen on the car ceiling. After some back and forth with one rider who took the front passenger seat, the driver asks if he's okay because, quote, you're sweating like crazy. The driver then insists his passenger put his seatbelt on as he begins to drive before asking the same passenger to not touch his belongings that are in the front, which uh, gets some unintelligible pushback. Uh, quote, I need you to get out, he states as he pulls over. Me, the front passenger asks, to which the driver politely states, yes, pleads, I need you all to get out. Quote, you're a fucking joke, the passenger replies. No, I'm not. White privilege. Leave, the driver shoots back. Um, get the fuck out, bro, the man replies. You're a fucking, fucking bitch ass n-word with hard R. This is when the driver leaves the car and the passengers exit where a contentious argument can be barely heard with the driver accusing them um, of being racist. So... Um, but you just got a bunch of rowdy people that just turns into a fucking big ass racist rant. Um, I just kind of described the video there. I, I would show you guys the video, but I'm afraid of my video being taken down, um, due to its, um, profan profanity. Um, but you can check that out. Of course, it's going to be on YouTube. You'll be able to find it pretty easily. But, you know, another s sad story of just racism going on in America. What's new? Support independent progressive media by leaving a subscription down below, leave a like and share the video, help us out on Patreon or you can donate in other ways, links are in the description down below. We are fighting Trump tooth and nail and we will continue to do so with your help.